Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear and I figured, you know, sitting inside my house I have my two C8s beside my bed It's like 2 o'clock in the morning here and I figured, nah, we'll do a video on um, domed versus de-domed tint So, um, I got out both of my C8s and um, a while ago I explained to you guys that I broke the um, D-Dome XPG2 that was inside my C8 so um, I ended up replacing that with a standard uh, domed um, XPL V5 so you know the HD the domed emitters um, and I never took the dome off that emitter because um, my plan is to actually maybe put a SST40 in this and de-dome it so I won't have the most throw but it should have a pretty good output so this is the um, C8 with the um, XBL in it so that's probably highest mode there so you can see it's friggin bright it is running direct drive with um, back and front spring by bypasses so of course it's going to be super super bright um, if you look at the um, back fence you can see the beam is a little bit ringy it's more ringy than on a uh, C8 with a um, XML2 that's for, 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 for sure uh, we'll go to the tree at 100 meters so you know it gets there super easy but it's a very wide beam so yeah, um, pretty interesting light. I've never actually seen any actual um, XPL, Cree XPLs in a C8 yet. Um, I think mine, obviously mine isn't the first one ever. Like a lot of people do de-dome them. But um, I haven't seen one with the dome left on a video of it. So yeah, if you're interested in that, uh, this is what it looks like. Um, it does like throw okay, you know, I can see it get to that tree there at 180 meters So I would say it throws better than the um, XML2 That is for, for sure And on direct drive output should be probably better on the XPL V5 Than on the uh, XML2 So yeah, uh, anyway this video isn't actually about that This video is about the difference in tints So um, you know, I was sitting there and a lot of people always say Yeah, but these don't tints suck well, obviously, sometimes that they do, it depends how you de-dome it, and like, how, how it works. If it works good, it should look okay, or at least decent. So, I got out my de-domes, uh, CA2. Whoa. So, this is the de-domed one here. Um, and, you know, to be honest, you can see the beam is a lot more yellow compared to the um, other C C8. And, to me, it looks a lot better. This is on uh, mode 4. They both got the same uh, BLF A6 drivers um, with the same mods. So both got like, uh, both have the um, spring bypasses and whatnot on um, copper boards. So yeah, so on the highest mode, this will be the highest mode here. So you can see output is down with the um, XPL, uh, with the D-Dome XPL V5. But um, I know it's probably half of you guys to see because there'll be a lot of glare. But if we turn it down, and side by side, so this is the standard HD, well they're both HD, but this is the um, XPL with the dome still on, and this is the XPL with the dome off. So not like a whole bunch of difference there, but you can definitely see that the um, one with the dome off, this one here to the right, um, does look a lot more yellow. So on the back fence, you know, you can see the difference there is very big. Obviously the hotspot is a lot more in intense on the uh, D dome one. I don't know what's going on for it. Oh, there we go. It's fine. Mm. Maybe the battery's a bit low. Actually, let me play with the towel cap. Sometimes when you do the spring bypasses, the towel caps become a little bit funny. So we'll go to um, 100 meters on the highest mode with the uh, D Dome one. Well, that might have been. So you can see it gets there super super easy um, and I kind of like this tint better I kind of like the neutral white although it's not high CRI or nothing um, it does kind of look a lot better you know it gets to 180 meters like a breeze a lot lot better than the uh, XBL with the dome dome one of course so yeah side by side it's pretty funny because like side by side they are both super ringy um, now they're both on the highest mode, so you can see the um, XPL with the dome is definitely a lot brighter. It also looks a lot harsher, but because the hotspot is a lot bigger, it's a little bit harder to notice. Um, while the uh, de-domed um, XPL um, looks a lot more yellow. 
So you may de-dome yours and it may not actually become as yellow as uh, this XPL that I've de-domed. Um, I heard that this is because I put it in, in petrol and it kind of changes the, um, the, I don't know, how would I explain? It kind of changes the phosphor layer and makes it more yellow, I think. I'm not sure if that's true, but apparently that that's how it works. But um, overall, I actually prefer this tint of the D-domed um, Cree XPL compared to the XPG2 that I've done. Because the XPG2 was a lot wider and this um, D-domed XPL is actually a lot more yellow. So I'm out here stuffing around with these two lights, shining them around, because I haven't had time to play with lights in a few days. But I'm meant to be doing reviews. I've got the um, Nightcore HC33 headlamp review coming up, plus a couple of my own builds. Um, and I'm out here actually testing that um, Ultrafire UF1508 that I've done the other day, and I said I was going to mod. So I'm out here playing with that. I had to end up putting a, um, a um, XML2 in that. So not really what I planned, but I broke the um, SST40 that was supposed to go in that. So yeah, just out here mucking around. Um, yeah. I might actually grab that light and we'll compare the tints with these two, actually. Alright guys, so this one looks a bit crap, but it's not too bad. Um, actually, this looks completely blue on the um, camera. I might have to fiddle with it. Um, yeah, I've done a few tests. I got a little bit over 200 KCD. Um, out of this um, 1508 uh, with a D-Dome Texan Mod 2. I did dome the same way in petrol, that's pretty much my preferred way now. Because whenever I slice, I get a few different um, a few different um, out outcomes, so I kind of prefer to uh, use petrol. Um, so side by side, you can see the tints are actually fairly similar. You guys won't be able to see it because it just looks like washed out as hell. But if I put the um, beam in a little bit yeah so that's it there guys uh, it looks pretty much just about as yellow as the um, XPL does as the D-domed um, XPL so yeah so maybe if you put any sort of emitter well not really because the XPG2 went in petrol 2 and that didn't come out this yellow so yeah I don't know but it has kind of changed the tint like this was a fairly cold white um xml2 so i'm pretty happy with it being this yellow now because um to me i prefer this color compared to the cold white um yeah anyway this was just kind of a video of me rambling on because i haven't put out a video in a few weeks and um kind of lacking behind i just wanted to go somewhere nice to get the headlamp review done and because of that reason i haven't really gotten around to it yet so uh, by the time I do it, no one will want to buy one anyway, so there'll be no point in reviewing it. Except for that, I'll add my own touch, as I always do. Who doesn't like touching stuff? Alright guys, um, I'm going to stay out here for a little bit longer and um, try and get some Candela numbers on this and could maybe make a video, I guess. And um, as always guys, um, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.